Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain Booster Box Guide. Happy New Year! It's the start of 2024. Nice! So in this video, I'm going to be talking about a booster guide. How booster sets are done in Yu-Gi-Oh! And hopefully it'll help you to summarize what booster sets that you should be getting and what are important. With that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. So usually there are four core sets in a year, three side sets, there's one set called Battles of Legend sets, one Ghost set, one Megatin, one Maze set that premiered last year, and Rarity Collection that premiered last year. It's all coming together. Let's go over this one by one. We have four core sets. Indeed, core sets usually are situated during the seasons. For example, we'll have Phantom Nightmare coming out um, next month during the winter time. And then we, you should expect another core set to drop in the spring. We'll have another core set drop in autumn. And then finally, we'll have the last core set should drop uh, early winter for this year. I like it. And we'll move on to side sets. So usually we have three side sets. These are known as the deck build sets. And usually they start in early spring. We usually get our first um, side set, usually. Can vary sometimes. We can get it in the beginning of the year, winter. So it can vary from our first one being in winter or early spring. But that's gen the general time frame that we see it. Our second set comes in around summertime. Um, also, depending on where it happens, it could also happen in early spring. But again, usually around the summertime, we get that. And then autumn time, our third final side set around there. Okay. And we have the ghost set. Now, the ghost set usually happens and usually comes around at around February at this point in time. We usually get the ghost set. Basically, this is a set that's just full, filled with just ghost rares is usually around February time. It may change, maybe it may, uh, sometimes it could g enter in into March, but usually it's around February, March, around those two months, we usually get the ghost set, okay? And then we have the Megatin. Megatin usually happens during late summer, going, uh, start going into early autumn. Around during around that time is when we we get our mega tin. We have the battles of legends. This usually happens. Usually we get this during midsummer. Midsummer during that time of the year we usually get the battles of legends set. Now May set has premiered last year, so it's a bit of a mixed bag. When it premiered, it was, it was in February of last year, but now we're getting it at the beginning of the year, as you can see with this year. So May set currently is a bit of a mixed bag. We don't know whether uh, it's going to be January or February, but with the way things are going, possibly, potentially, it's going to be January, February time, unless things change we will get that during that time. And we have Rarity Collection. Now, Rarity Collection premiered last year in November. And so my assumption was we were going to get the next Rarity Collection in November of this year, but it looks like things have changed. It looks we've had an early announcement and Rarity Collection, it looks like it'll come earlier, but we don't have a definitive date. And so there's a lot to um, call here, okay. Let's uh, move on. And so let's now talk about it. So far, you've seen that we have way too many sets Facts. in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's break it down to the sets usually that you need to pay attention to. It's gonna be your core sets that happen during the seasons and your side sets. And your megatins are gonna be your megatin set is gonna be is gonna be really useful as that's gonna allow you to get the reprints from the archetypes which were really famous from the previous year. It's free real estate. 
and Rarity Collection, which is premiered last year. So the most important sets are Core Sets, Side Sets, Megatin, and Rarity Collection. Uh, Battles of Legends set and the Ghost set usually do not have anything of value there. They're usually some hot garbage. The truth you need to know. Um, May set is the same thing. It's usually some hot garbage and usually doesn't have anything. It's not usually a set that is good in the Yu-Gi-Oh scene. I can't deny that. It's just the truth at this point. So if we count in total with how many sets we have in a given year, we have four sets, that's four. We have three side sets, that adds up to seven. One Battles of Legends set, that's eight. A Ghost set, that's nine. Mega Tin, we have ten. Um, May set, that's eleven. And then we have Road to Collection, twelve. So, we use, so we're looking at twelve sets. Um, there could be another Battles of Legends set I think we got last year, but we usually get one. Sometimes maybe we'll get multiple Battles of Legends sets, maybe two, maybe more. But usually on a given year, we get just one Battles of Legends set. I believe last year we had two Battles of Legends sets uh, with the Soul Burner and we had uh, and another one. But on on the regular, we usually have 12 sets in a year, usually. So that's all I've really got to say, I think, in this video. And um, for anyone who's joined my channel, welcome. And hopefully, I'll be seeing you soon in the near future. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.